Oh, hey guys. Didn't know you guys were going to come so soon. <laughs> um, I'm trying to open this door, actually, because... So we, we, have, we have a lot of break-ins. So we put a nail here so it doesn't open, but it also ruins the aesthetic of the house. But now I can't take the nail out. Oh. I broke the hammer. <laughs> Are you serious? This episode's gonna suck. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to my house tour. Hi, AD. It's DD. I'm David Dobrik. <laughs> and this is my house. Come on in. I moved here about two or three years ago and I remember looking for a really long time. I, w I went to like 10 different like house showings a week and then I came to this one and like I immediately, immediately knew it was the house that I was gonna live in. And I feel like that's the best feeling. That's how you know you have it. And I still go on Zillow to this day after years of owning it because I'm always like, did I make the right decision? Because I'm really worried about that. And so far I have, so I'm happy. The style of the house is that it's like a house. Like when I think of house, I think of this house because it's not too big, it's not too small, it's not like too modern, it's not like too old. It's just like a, the perfect in between, I think. So here we have an iPad. It actually, honestly, I really like Angry Birds and that's the only function it has. Because when I'm tying my shoes, well, I can't tie my shoes. So when, while my assistant is tying my shoes, I grab my iPad and I'll play Angry Birds. Up here is the Views logo. Or actually, they're just letters that spell out Views. This isn't the logo. But Views is the podcast I have with my friend Jason Nash. He's 46 and I'm 23. So it's a really fun dynamic. These are my awards. I got this when I hit 10 million subscribers. It was really fun because I came home and my entire house was wrapped in like wrapping paper like it was Christmas. And all my friends from my hometown and from LA came to surprise me and it was like a really, really big fun thing. This is my favorite. This is my Kids' Choice Award. This is like my Oscars, basically. And I used to watch the Kids' Choice Awards all the time. And I used to watch Drake and Josh all the time. And then last year, Josh Peck presented me with the Kids' Choice Award at the Kids' Choice Awards. And it was like a really, really big deal for me. No one, no one else cared. This is my bar cart. I actually don't drink. This is here for my friends. I get most of my work done when my friends are super drunk because I, I film basically everything. The disposable cameras are kind of a new thing that I've been trying out. I just take pictures of like random things that are happening. So this, this would be a perfect moment. F the flash isn't on. Like this, this would be a perfect moment. <laughs> like this, this would be a perfect moment. You guys look so good. See? This is the living room. This is probably my favorite part of the house or, or my bedroom because I sleep there. And this is genuinely, all jokes aside, my favorite piece of furniture I've ever sat on in my entire life. It's the cloud couch. It's from Restoration Hardware. I absolutely love it. That's my clickbait sign. I really like LED signs because I feel like they're like a really easy way to like decorate a house and make it feel like it's like a lot cooler than it actually is. Clickbait is my merch. I'm actually wearing it right now, but you can't really tell because it's black on black. That's a fireplace. Can't roast marshmallows because of the glass. But if you, if you poke hard enough, this is my motherfucking family. <laughs> Just change the face. These are pictures of me and my parents. These are pictures of when I was younger, or as Mitch Hedberg would say, every picture of you is when you were younger. These are my siblings. I have three. The middle one's my favorite. This one's my second favorite. This one's my least favorite. Don't leave this out. These are my favorite candles. That's it. Okay, and then we, we come over here. This is the pool table. I don't have a kitchen table because I, I feel like I eat really quickly, so I just get it done while I'm standing or doing something else. This is a new chandelier I got, or light fixture, I guess. Not a chandelier, because my friends got really drunk. And they took my old light fixture, and they went like this, and they pretended it was one of those pendulum things, and they shattered. And then, oh, this is my flamethrower. Here. I like that a lot. I didn't want to warn you guys because then you'd be like, it's not safe. <laughs> okay, this is a gumball machine we have. From the day we bought it, it hasn't worked. It just sits here. And if you want a gumball, you have to go up here. But when it does work, I'm sure it looks really cool. It looks cool just like sitting there. This is the kitchen. I don't cook. I always like order food or I go out. This is my fish. His name is The Fun. Charlotte, Kaya, Kendall, and Harry came by and they gave me this fish when we surprised my friend Zane for his birthday. Um, we surprised him with Kendall Jenner because he really likes her. So she came over and we threw like a big party for him here and that was a lot of fun. And this is all I have from that day that I remember because it was, it was so crazy. This is Natalie. She's my friend from high school. She's now my assistant. These are her sisters. This is my friend Alex and this is my grandma. And then this is my favorite. What I obsess over the most is having like a clean fridge because I would always see it on like TV shows and stuff and I feel like, I don't know, I'm like a kid. I actually don't eat any of this stuff. I don't drink. I mainly drink water. I'm like a big water drinker. 
So that's kind of all I drink. I'm never in here other than to take Advil or Biotin because I'm scared that my hair is thinning. I literally have Chipotle every day. I cannot stress that enough. I have it seven to nine times a week. I have the card where I can get unlimited Chipotle throughout the year, and they also have an option where I can cater food for free. So we catered it, so after the shoot, you guys can have some. Or maybe I can just finish it up, I don't care. This is my bonsai tree I bought in Malibu. The guy told me it was 25 years old. I don't know if he was being serious, and I go, okay, I'll get it, because I was so excited about something being older than me, and now we grow up together, it's really cool. Oh, actually, this is fun, because you like really have to water these trees. So I'll do this, and I'll pretend it's raining. We don't have a lot of fun around here. So this is the way to the bedroom. This is one of my favorite. This is a, a Shelby and Sandy painting. My ex-girlfriend got me this and it was really sweet because this was the view where we had our first kiss. And then this car was the car I drove out to LA in. So she had it painted and she surprised me and it was really fun. And then here, now that I'm not in a relationship, I had them make a new one that represents who I am now. They made a brand new completely black and it's like, it's, it's so glossy, it's reflective. They call it a black mirror. And it's like one of those pieces where like, I feel like someone will come in and be like, that's the fucking stupidest thing I've ever seen. Or someone will go, that is exquisite. That's amazing. I really, really like it. You could see yourself in it. Pretty cool. So this is my bedroom. My friend Reggie and my assistant now, Natalie, designed the, they interior decorated the whole place. So everything is thanks to them. I didn't give him any direction because I have no artistic vision whatsoever. And I just said, just make it look cool. This is my favorite part. It's my TV. I wasn't allowed to have a TV in my room growing up. So now that I have this, it's like a complete game changer. And look at this. It's wherever. Like if, if I'm coming in, sometimes I'll have Natalie, my assistant, just stand and she'll know I'm coming home from a really long day. And as I'm walking in, she'll tilt it towards me as I go to my bed. And that's why it's so good because it moves. This is a really soft carpet. I usually don't allow shoes on it, but I know how Americans are. They like having shoes in all kinds of household settings. So I'm just walking around showing you guys that I'm one of you guys, when I'm not. I was born in Slovakia, here's my passport. This is my bed. I edit here a lot. Yeah, not much goes on in here. Well, where are you just editing? I was editing a video. Oh, this is cool. This is a baseball. I got to throw out the first pitch at the Cubs game in Chicago. I was super nervous for it, but they let me keep this baseball. This is my closet. Black is obviously my favorite color to wear. All I have is black shirts. I love Chipotle, and they sent me a bunch of their hats, so now it looks like I work there all the time, which is great. This, these are the only hats I wear. My friend painted this. This is on an Ikea table. My friend is a, a psycho, and I just recently I noticed he wrote something on the back. It says, I knew they'd run into you. <laughs> How mysterious is this? I have a feeling this is gonna help me in my life in like 20 years. Okay. <laughs> this is Cartier. I, I don't actually own Cartier, but when you go inside and you're really polite to the people, they do let you borrow the bag. And then I have this Snapchat backpack. <sighs> that's, pretty, that's pretty much it for the closet. I feel like we were in here for a while. <laughs> So this is my bathroom. There's not much going on. Here's, uh, here's the toilet. And then on this side, I was like really scared to open it. Did you see? I was like, this is the toilet. <laughs> and then this is the shower. There's a little plant in there. Keep him nice and soaked. This is my shampoo of choice. And it always has been. It's Suave Kids. It's tear-free shampoo, which I found out isn't tears. Like it's, you still cry when it gets in your eyes. It's tear-free. So it doesn't tear your hair. Like it doesn't like, have knots in your hair. If you're trying to get rid of tears, this isn't the way to go, but if you want good smelling hair, this is still the way to go. This is my bathtub. I think I've used it like four or five times. And then there's a cool view of the outside from here. It's also a cool view from the outside to in here. If you're in the Comcast building and you want to see me bathe, <laughs> I'll make sure to open this for you. Great, now I can never bathe again. Right here is the office that we just transformed into a bedroom. It's pretty cool because it has this like daylight thing to it. It has like a sunroof. I don't know what you, what you call these. I'm, I'm seven years old. And then these are my plaques for hitting one million on my channels, which is fun. I like this room. This is the studio. I don't really use it for anything other than to say I have a studio. 
when I bought this place, it was like a movie theater room, but it's too small, I feel like, for a movie theater room. So we transformed it to a place where we can record our podcast views. But we also never did that because it was just too professional and I'd rather do it on my couch. These are some pictures on the wall. <laughs> this is my friend Jason. That's who I do the podcast with. We taped him to the wall successfully. That was a lot of fun. This picture was from when I cut my hand open. It was my favorite video I've ever filmed. All my friends were there and we were having such a good time and we were all laughing about it. And it was, it was a really stressful moment and it was made to be a lot of fun. And like, that's what I really like. This is the outdoors. The view of the house is like the most important. I feel like I'm such a sucker for views. Like the, the house itself could be an actual box, but if it has a really cool view, I'm totally in love with it. And this, this has a really, really fun view. You could see Universal Studios from here and the Comcast building and me bathing. And it has real grass. And there's a dumbass groundhog in here that's eating all of it. Here's his hole and he'll come out. And then when you try to talk to him, he'll bury himself. We don't negotiate with terrorists around here. So we're done communicating with this groundhog. We're trying to build a pool here. I've been saying that we're trying to build a pool here for the past year, but it's not working. I didn't want you guys to come because the pool wasn't ready, but I also don't know if the show's gonna be around in 15 years. So I'm glad we're knocking it out now. Here's a ping pong table. I don't know, I feel like it's like a really big backyard for California or for like, at least for like a hillside house, which I really enjoy. Whoa, who did these? Who made these? No one's safe. <laughs> Natalie, we get... Stop. Stop it. <laughs> okay, forget it. All right, guys, this is my grill. <laughs> ah! This is a fire pit. This is a pizza. This is a skateboard. I don't even, I didn't even know we had this. Okay, now, now we're gonna go to the front of the house. This is where the cars are. <laughs> what else would be at the front of the house? It feels so weird saying it, but that's my Ferrari that I got recently. This is my favorite car. It's my Tesla. It's my little, my dream car. There is no better car than a Tesla. It almost seems unfair to compare it to other cars because it's just totally different than anything I've ever driven. So you can walk up to the car and the door opens and the doors open in like the most obnoxious way possible. And it's amazing because it's an SUV. So I can seat like all 10 of my friends. This car is for like six year olds, which is why it's great. It has this whoopee cushion option. I can make people in the car fart. So depending on where they're sitting, I can make it sound like they're farting. I can also change their fart from like a big one to like a small one. <laughs> it's fucking great. And then if you're ever trying to get a certain person in the mood, you go down here, you hit this fireplace option and a fireplace comes up. actually shoots out heat. The cool thing about this car is it receives updates just like a phone would. When you buy the car, it doesn't have certain functions that it would later. One of the cool surprises with this is Christmas morning, Elon tweeted and he said, everyone go to your cars, there's a fun update. And then everyone went to their cars and this was the update. Doing it. No, I have guests. You can't do this. Yeah, it's like it has erectile dysfunction. <laughs> I swear this has never happened before. <laughs> it, usually, it usually goes up, I promise. <laughs> Whatever, this is the car. <laughs> Thank you AD for coming by. I had a lot of fun showing you guys the house. I'll see you guys later. Remember, safety first. I don't know why people don't wear seatbelts. See you guys.